So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover some of your most asked questions and common FAQs. So first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe to the channel now let's get started. So a lot of you guys have already participated in the arcade program and some of you want to participate in the arcade program. But some of you want to know that if we don't participate in the arcade program in discord Will there be any other cohort also? Like, can we participate in December cohort? Is it there any co or not? So, I'll cover this topic. Another question like, when will Arcade and Arcade Facilitator program start? What is the major difference? And your most favorite multiple accounts query. And we will go step by step for all the questions. Like, some of you have asked that, can we jo join the June games also and how to count the points? All questions will be covered here. So let's start with the first query. That is when does the cohort start? So as you can see, we are in the June cohort. That is the arcade program starts from the January and ends on June. So currently, as you can see, when you open any game or just I'm saying the arcade cohort for this season is ending on 27th of June. So basically, this game is temporary only. So basically all the games will expire on 27th of June. Let me show you. So as you can see it's 27, 6, 25. That means the arcade cohort for this June event will be ending on 27th and all game will expire except these two. That is the certification zone is ending on 25th of June. Similarly, the this walk meet play is also ending on 25th June. I, a lot of you guys were asking about this walk meet play also. I will cover this also. No need to worry about it. So, first of all, a lot of you were asking that you want to participate in the no, new cohort. So, as I said earlier that the previous cohort will be ending on June. So, the next cohort will be starting on first week of July. It can either start from 4th July, 5th July. Basically, they start from Tuesday, sometimes even Monday and sometimes even Sunday. Do not worry, I will make a detailed video and this time I will guide you more accurately and with all the guides and solutions for each and every laps so that you can earn maximum points. And as you can see, this time they are having pretty cool goodies. Like you can see, we have printer, thermal printers, 3D cleaners, USB hub, t-shirt, polo t-shirt, bags, lights and in next cohort we will be having hoodie. Yes, you heard it right. You will be having the arcade Google Cloud hoodie and it's very amazing. If you want to see the unboxing video, let me show you. Here is the video. I will share the link of the swags in the description. You can see this is the hoodie and bag. For previous cohort, you can watch it. And if you want to see the swags, you can check the channel also. Now, let's move to our main topic that the, as I said, that the arcade second cohort will be starting on 1st of July and it will be ending on December. So, you'll be having time till December and you will have plenty of time to earn maximum points and you will be able to get the swags. Now, another question is that, should we participate in the Arcade or Arcade Facilitator program? So, the major query is that, Arcade is also running and Arcade Facilitator is also running. So, what are the benefits of using Arcade Facilitator and Arcade program? And will there be any Arcade Facilitator as we had in previous cohort? That is, this cohort which is running currently and which ended on 2nd of June. I am saying Arcade Facilitator ended on 2nd June, not Arcade. So let's see, this is the Arcade Facilitator homepage. Many of you know this page as you have participated. So as you can see, the event started on 1st of April and ended on 2nd of June. So in the, the next cohort will be starting on August or September. I will make a detailed video and I will share the facilitator link who will be active with you and will be interacting with you. So that you don't miss because many of you face some issues like your facilitators were not responding. You entered incorrect code by just by random clicking. So this time I'll make sure that each of you get maximum support and also the maximum benefits of the swags. So I will be connected with you. No need to worry about it. So this is the arcade facilitator program. Now what are the benefits of this program? Basically, many of you are confused that Arcade Facilitator and Arcade Program both give swags. So, this is not so. Arcade Facilitator Program is only for the bonus point and Arcade Program is the Arcade Program. So, let me clarify it how you can maximize it. So, the ma major question is that should we participate in the Arcade Program? 
Arcade Facilitator program. Yes, you should enroll in the Arcade Facilitator program because here is one important thing you need to know that here we'll be getting bonus points. So, for example, let me show you an example. Like you are having Arcade points 40, but we, if you joined by mistake, sorry, by mistake, why you will join? Suppose you are having the 65 points. And in Arcade Facilitator program, they gave you 30 points as bonus. You did efforts of 65 points only, but you will be getting 30 additional points. And instead of having 65, you will get 85 points and you will be able to redeem the Legion swags. You can see these are the very good swags and more will be added as seen here. So you need to wait. So these are the benefits. Let me show you the milestone. So as you can see, here are the milestone. Similarly, you are uh, participating in arcade, you are doing all trivia games, skill badges, skill badges. Here, two additions were there, I will tell you. Skill badges and these Lafri courses. Remove the Lafri courses for now. So, indirectly by doing this, you can see 5, 4, 9, 9, 13. Total 13 arcade points is here. As you can see here, total 13 arcade points are here. And by doing these 13 arcade points, what you will get, let me tell you. So, wait a minute. Yes, for the 13 arcade points, you will be getting what? Two bonus points. So, basically, this time I added lab courses because, as you know, there were lab limits and due to which you were unable to complete some of the skill batches. So, for that, they have added lab free courses. Basically, in these courses, there were videos and documents. You have to just answer the quiz, just like we do the trivia quiz. quiz sorry. Just like we do the trivia quiz. If you have not seen the trivia quiz, let me show you. Here is a playlist. When you will open the trivia. So as you can see here is a trivia quiz. When you will complete this. This type of only there are quizzes here. So when you will complete this. You will be able to get the two bonus points. So let me see. Show you the milestone. So these are milestone 2. You can see it accordingly. Let me show you the highest milestone. So as I said earlier. You have. Here we have 40 points. So by doing these only. The 10 arcade games you are doing already. A trivia gun also you are doing already and skill badges you are not doing. Some of you are doing, some of you are not doing. So you have to do here skill badges. And let's see for the updated guidelines. I am telling for the previous cohort only. So here you are getting 22 points for the skill badges and indirectly you will be having 40 arcade points plus 25 bonus points. See, by doing the arcade facilitator program, you are getting 25 bonus points for free. That means very less effort and skill badges are very easy. I will share you a walkthrough video with it. You can watch it in the next core. Also, I shared the description of the skill badges. You can check the sheet also. They are very easy. Mostly it will take up approx 5 to 10 minutes and you will be complete all the badges within. All not mostly badge by badge. You will be able to complete all badge by badge and get exciting points so this is the main thing you are getting the bonus point so let me clarify again in summary i will make a summary also no need to worry that arcade facilitator if you are participating in arcade if there is arcade facilitator program you should take part you should take part in the arcade facilitator program as you are getting bonus points for free now the next query is that multiple accounts like many of you are Knowing that you cannot claim two milestone, like if you had achieved 60 points, you cannot claim the arcade trooper and the novice milestone. So the main thing is that you need to understand that for this, many of you have tried to create multiple accounts, but this is not generally recommended. I will recommend use only single accounts and if you want swags, like if you want multiple swags, here is one thing you can do. You can just invite your friends, family members like your brother, sister, parents, even parents. There is no upper age limit. There is lower age limit only. That is one needs to be 18 plus for India. And you can check for your country if you are watching it from different countries. Like I have seen many of my viewers are from different countries. So you can check your legal country age. And this thing you need to understand that. There is no upper age limit. So, if your father is interested, I've seen one cloud learner is approx 75 years of age and he is always on top 
on the cloud skills boost platform so you can ask them to complete and what we will do they will do they will give you your swags basically i am saying that like if any family member is doing arcade indirectly you can exchange your swags like if you like the table lamp you can ask them and you can give them the laptop stand so this is the way you can manage it for multiple swags basically multiple account for one person is restricted but suppose if you want your family members to participate and in exchange you can exchange your swags like they like pens you can like bag you can exchange with each other the main thing they want you should not have a multiple account you should invite more and more users to complete this program and learn about not only the clouds and how they work and use this opportunity to enhance your learning now one more main thing is that you need to understand that for each account there should be unique mobile number that means like if you are ordered swags each milestone should have unique mobile number like if you want to order rk novice you need to enter your details name and emails and the mobile number should be single one for novice suppose you are claiming trooper milestone for it also the mobile number will be different and name also so oh, i hope you got it what i wanted to say that no same person can claim multiple milestone i hope many of you and your family members have also participated as the rule was circulated earlier only so what you need to do you need to just enter different mobile numbers and you can order it and i am totally against of using multiple accounts i am just saying that you can use you can ask your family members if they have participated they can share the swag with you i hope you understand now another query is that can you join the june games so yes june games are live and will be live till 27th of will be live till 27th of june so you can complete by then and now how to count the points so one major query is that how you can count the points so it is the point matrix you have to just open your public profile if you don't know how to open the public profile let me show you one sample so here is the profile of a student of mine let me show you wait a minute so this is a public profile you can see it now here how you have to count it as you can see here are one two three four so here are four skill badges two skill badges give one point similarly for trivia games one point each and for special game we have two points so let me show you one thing here all points are mentioned here like one point one point one point and a special game was running i hope you have completed by watching the video solutions so here you can see here are the games let me show you once again scroll down so here one special game was there let me show you mm. yes let's leave it you must be knowing that it was of two points it ended recently so once you have completed it you can count it manually only one point has two point uh, sorry one game has that is a special game has two points and another important thing is that here the cloud code to closing do not complete this game as because it won't give you 100% points only complete the certification zone because it will give you 100% one pocket point as in the code to closing that is work meet play game here it's mentioned that it will be awarded only to the first player 50 players that is not leaderboard it means that when the game was launched means live on this page who has completed the first 50 who has completed will be getting this patch now the second thing is that the arcade certification zone there is the first 50 players will be at 50 percent certification voucher code not this point means if you have completed this bag no need to worry about these all remaining bags you will 100 percent get the you will 100 percent get the points and for solution also a guide also i share the link in the description if you face any issue you can let me know in the comments of this video or any video and any post now how many swags are there in total so a lot of you guys were worried about the swags so here you can see three swags are revealed three 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 and three
सो मोस्टली आई थिंक फोर टू फाइव स्ट्रैक्स विल भी डेफिनेटली देयर बिकॉज इन प्रीवियस कोहर्ट वी हैव सीन दैट आर मोस्ट फोर टू फाइव स्ट्रैक्स वेर देयर एंड देर विल बी मोर स्वैक्स एडेड मोर एज यू कैन सी द क्वालिटी ऑफ स्वैक्स आर ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव एज यू कैन सी हेयर इज अ प्रिंटर एंड दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी इन वन थर्म ट्वेल्व सॉरी ट्वेंटी इन वन क्लीनर इफ यू हैवन चेकड इट यू कैन चेक इट लेट मी शो यू सो हेयर आई हैव अपलोडेड द वीडियो यू कैन चेक इट आउट हेयर इज द शॉर्ट यू कैन वॉच इट एंड सी द स्वैक्स हेयर मल्टीपल स्वैक्स here is the bonus point if you have any queries like bonus point also you can check the channel and if you face any issue you can let me know about it if you want to know how does the price counter email looks like you can watch this video here are the swag drops and multiple things and i have already created that can you claim multiple milestone swags so the answer is simply no you can claim only one milestone swags if you are novice like if you are 20 points you can claim on the first one even if you have 39 points you'll be able to claim this one only and for 40 points you'll be able to claim this one and if you have 60 points you will still be able to claim only the trooper you cannot claim 40 plus 20 60 Okay I hope this clears your doubt and I hope you are enjoying this orchid session I hope you are absolutely fine do like the video and subscribe the channel and I will see you guys in the next one if i missed anything do let me know in the comment section now let me summarize this video so the summary of this video is that new cohort starts on july first week arcade of arcade facilitator which is best definitely arcade facilitator is best because it's getting giving you bonus points with less support only for skill badges or uh, la free courses if they add i will up make updated video for it and for skill badges i will take to make sure that you get most of the badges now multiple account query it's generally not recommended to use multiple accounts and you can you should advise your family members and advise not suggest to your family members or your siblings to participate and learn it now can we play can we join june games yes you can join join the june games and try to complete by 25th of june because some of the labs are facing issue and do report it how you have to report here is a simple way you have to just do one thing you have to just open any lab or just log into your cloud skills boost click on this question mark and email support you can see on the left side email is showing here just like this you can mail them and share the lab they will fix it or remove it what they will remove it they will remove the required tag and you will be able to get the patch without any issue now how to count the points here is the way how you can count the points you can see here that the points matrix is here now the point matrix is having here you can count like level 1 2 3 is having one point to we is having one point similarly and skill badges two skill badges give one point now if you have completed one skill badges or three skill badges you won't be able to get 0.5 points you need to complete two at least two that means 2 4 6 8 8 like this and then only you'll get the points now how many swags are total there will be more than four swags or uh, sometimes they may decrease but the quality of swags have improved do check the channel for it if you want to see the swag drops and do like the video and subscribe the channel that's all for today i hope if you have any other queries like in which topic i made a video do comment down below thank you guys have a great day ahead